morning and welcome to the best show in Africa. That has been Art News and I hope you had to pick a little from the Art News. Right about now we are at Limuru. We had to come all the way to Limuru to make sure that we get to the Red Hill Art Gallery. And guess what? I'm going to be meeting the founder and the owner of this place and he's going to give us the final details of why they exist. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Brian. You're nice good? to meet you. I'm very fine. Thank good you very much. Good to see much. you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we've, we've just been talking but then we didn't have chance to yeah. meet and this is the first time meeting you and it's awesome. Great, mm -hmm. yeah. So welcome at the Art Gallery. People want to get to know your name, probably. Okay, my name is Helmut. Mm -hmm. I am the owner and the curator of Red Hill Art Gallery. Mm -hmm. And uh, the gallery has been in existence since about eight years. Mm -hmm. With the initial idea that we uh, wanted to have a showcase for the gallery's own collection because we have quite a broad collection of contemporary African art since the 1990s. Mm -hmm. But pretty soon we came into contact with the African or the Kenyan art scene mm -hmm. and now the concept is that we have more or less four, five, six times per year mm -hmm. solo exhibitions of uh, contemporary Kenyan artists, young artists whom mm -hmm. we want to promote and give the chance to show their artwork but also indeed well-established art mm -hmm. artists in Kenya. Uh, I'd like to know you a little bit more. Are you from Kenya? Are you a Kenyan? <laughs> no, I'm. Uh, I think you can see I'm at least a Muzungu. <laughs> <laughs> you can be. You can be Muzungu, but then you're Kenyan. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm German, mm -hmm. and uh, but I have been living for 35 years in Africa. Oh, nice. And we have been now set. We have now settled here in Kenya, mm -hmm. and have been living here for 10 years. And as I said, the gallery is now. A, uh, in operation about eight years. A little bit about the African countries you've lived in. You want to share with us some yeah, of the Yeah, we lived in uh, mainly East Africa, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Somalia, Somaliland, a bit in Sudan, and uh, in Namibia also for some time. Namibia. Yeah. Yeah. That's, really, quite different that's really exciting. Yeah. I just want you to talk to us about that art. It's amazing. You want to talk about... Yeah, this is, uh, this is a, a sculpture from... <coughs> sculpture from? From Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. One of these uh, famous uh, Shona sculptures. Mm -hmm. uh, Zimbabwe is quite famous for, uh, you know, the Shona is a, 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 a tribal community in, in Zimbabwe who are very famous for this kind of uh, sculpting. I have a Shona friend, he's called Tawanda Raymond. Okay. Yeah, he actually <laughs> insists on Raymond. They uh -huh. have a really uh -huh. strong R. But you're saying that they have this kind of sculpture mm -hmm. one. And this is uh, a very, very hard stone. It's more or less like uh, granite. It's called serpentine stone. Mm -hmm. It uh, appears in different colors. It is grayish. This is the grayish one, but they also have blue, uh, 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 reddish and greenish ones. Mm -hmm. And this is somehow, it's called an eagle. It's a mixture of a human face and a bird's face. Oh yeah. Which is some kind of the, uh, from the uh, Zimbabwe mythology, mm. mythology. So did you have to carry it all the way? Uh, it is heavy. We, we had it carried. It mm -hmm. was quite, quite a big thing. It came by railway to Durban and then by boat to Mombasa and then by truck to, oh, to, to, Dallas, uh, to Nairobi. And the most difficult part was to transport it from the gate Mm -hmm. to the place because <laughs> we needed about 10 people to carry more than one ton right? yeah really let's take a walk <laughs> uh, we, we are later, on, later on we're going to meet um, Sam Givinji who's a painter but then how do you choose uh, some of the artists who come here to just exhibit yeah you know uh, the most important thing is really quality and when I met uh, Samuel about three or four years ago the first time he came then as a very young student. He had just finished his art school mm -hmm. and he showed me a few photos of the work which he has done and I found it really interesting. Mm -hmm. Well done, still maybe a little bit premature, but very interesting. And so we decided, okay, let's work together. Then we had the first exhibition. Two years later, we had the second exhibition. And this is now the third exhibition of Samuel Kifinci, mm -hmm. who is still upcoming, but getting more and more uh, established yeah but you yeah. believed in him way before he became what he exactly, is today yeah. Yeah, yeah. so you do you take the journey with an artist or you just get to find artists uh, fast who are going to help him okay not necessarily you know, you know this is more or less one example to take the journey because we just met more or less accidentally or because he came and then we also liked each other and mm -hmm. i liked his work and then so we were cooperating but we do not have really artists contracted yeah it is mm -hmm. you know artists are free mm -hmm. they are coming and then after the exhibition they are free again do you yeah. help them sell of course you know this is uh, these are all sales exhibitions yeah mm -hmm. uh, the artist has the opportunity to present his artworks which is free for him mm -hmm. and uh, 
Then we have an opening of his artwork, which is then on a Sunday, quite, quite busy, and then the uh, exhibition stays for about six, five, six, seven weeks. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, visitors are coming and people are also buying. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like hot cake. Mm -hmm. yeah, true, true. It is, you know, now and then, but it is, you sell art yeah, so on do, behalf do you, do of the Do you sell artist. it in Germany? No, okay, we, uh, oh, because only, we are... It's only domestic. It's domestic, no, no, but we have also a, web, a website and uh, we get also requests from all over the world, yeah. Just mm -hmm. recently some shipment was going to America, one was going to Switzerland, mm -hmm. but this is the main, uh, main uh, sales is indeed in the country. Mm. Speaking of which, we'd like to talk to Sam, but before that, probably just look at this camera and tell people how they can be able to find your website. Okay, you can uh, find the website, it's very easy, www.redhillartgallery.com. It's as simple as that. Yeah, and you can also find it on the Google map. It is a bit outside of Nairobi, it's not yet Limuru, it's halfway to Limuru, mm -hmm. so it's about 40 minutes from town. Mm -hmm. So it is not uh, okay depending on the traffic. Okay, I'd like to meet some, but also yeah. one thing that we didn't capture is how did you name this place Red Hill? Is it the name of the yeah, place? Yeah, this is the name of the area. This okay. is Red Hill South. Yeah, the whole area is called Red Hill and this p particular space here is Red Hill South. So you just decided to pick the name pick from the, the original? From the region, yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. So now you wanted to introduce me to this artist, mm -hmm. uh, Sam. Sam. Samuel Ashanti Kithinji. Ashanti Kithinji. Yeah. Hey, so. you, you've said the Ashanti name really well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's meet Sam. So, okay, please come in to okay. the gallery. Yeah? So, mm -hmm. so. <laughs> okay, so this is Sam, right? Samuel, good morning. Nice to see you. Mm -hmm. Hello. Sam Givinji, Ashanti yeah. Givinji. Yeah. Hey. Samuel Givinji. Uh -huh. Otherwise, Samuel Givinji. Samuel Givinji. Yeah. It's awesome, man, that you come all the way from Tika and display your work here. But introduce yourself so that people get to know the final details of who you are. Mm, I am a Givinji. Uh, I do art. I am a painter, and sometimes I do sculpture. So that's what I do. And I'm a full-time artist. Full-time artist? Yeah. You told me that you've done it for almost six years now. Yeah. But before that, you were just practicing. Yeah. How, why, how did you decide to just make it professional? You know, artist life, you know, and keep making you want to create and create again and again. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of, you know, a calling and stuff. It pushes you mm -hmm. to be an artist and full-time artist. You are featured in the East African because of this very exhibition. Just talk yeah. to us about the title of this exhibition. The what? The, the title of this exhibition. Yeah. Like misery or hope, something like that. Yeah, it's called assembly. Mm -hmm. And assembly, you know, it's kind of, uh, uh, you know, how I have alleged the figures. Mm -hmm. You know, the general term assembly. Mm -hmm. It's like a figure alleged, you know. Okay, so that's that's the the whole style. Yeah. So you want to talk to us about it? Mm, okay, this is not a style. Mm -hmm. It is, you know, uh, it is an expression. Mm -hmm. So maybe I can call it an expression scene. So you want to talk about the expression? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Right. Maybe we start here. So all right. people get right, to know right. uh, your work of art. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about this one and tell us what the composition is all about. Well, uh, the work is called, uh, it's untitled, mm -hmm. but if you look at it, you know, I've written uh, this inscription about a uh, school of confusion. Mm -hmm. So this you is... actually inscribed it yeah, in yeah. most subliminal way. Yeah. yeah, it's called school of confusion. Mm -hmm. Now the figure is called, the figure is called, as you can see, mm -hmm. And some, this guy is just studying, you know, expressing some like this. Okay. So it's like a Jesus piece. It looks like a Jesus piece. Like yeah, you look yeah. at it. But is it a Jesus story, really? Not really. You know, it's a general thing that happens every day that I want to express. Because I feel, you know, in the society there is a lot of problems that are facing people. Mm -hmm. Now, this is like... Uh, you know, crucifixion mm -hmm. to 
of the general people. General public. Yeah. What? Okay, so you decided to draw that. Yeah, and yeah. It has unique elements. It's not yeah. the regular. At mm -hmm. the, the, is this a piece of rope or cloth that you put? Yeah. Because if you come a little closer, is mm -hmm. when you can actually see the details in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What I normally do, uh, whenever you look into my work, you can uh, see the stitches, you know, mm -hmm. and the stitches most time, you know, signifies, you know, healing, you see, because the world is full of mysteries and injuries. Mm -hmm. So whenever I stitch the canvas, it's kind of bringing healing. Bringing that, healing. Yeah. But you're tired of, uh, there's something you actually talked about before we go to the next one. Mm -hmm. um, you're tired of this, how politicians make people suffer when it comes to maybe the economic development mm -hmm. or social, even social development of a community. Yeah. You're tired of, of such things and you express it through your arts. Mm -hmm. Let's talk to us about how you handle uh, that. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you know, this kind of a painting, uh, whenever I was working it, you know, you listen to the things that are happening aloud. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in our country right now, uh, there is a lot of, you know, uh, corrupts or mm -hmm. politicians, you know, yeah. doing bad things for the people. Yeah. This is not bringing the development. And so it's why I try to bring this kind of a figure in mm -hmm. rage, you know. This like, if you look at these inscriptions. Yeah, the inscriptions we have. Yeah. Epic. Yeah. yeah. Mau Mau. Mau Mau. Nato. Nato. Freedom for all. Yeah, you can actually see that, and you use yeah. a lot of numbers in your mm -hmm. in your pieces. Why why do you use these numbers? Are they significant? Well, the numbers is just you know it's like a title because there is a lot of work, so I write a number to identify it. Is four is four ninety three your highest, finally? Uh, the highest number that you've used? Yeah, most. Yeah, yeah. 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 The highest number you've used. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Ebony, by, by the growing up, probably Apple, uh, did you grow up in Nairobi or you grew up in Thika? No, 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 no. I grew up in uh, Gatundu. Gatundu? Uh, yes. Ebu Tuambi, growing up, and how did your life in Gatundu inspire the artist that you are today? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, when we were growing, you know, I think this was kind of a living whereby, you know, we, we used to, you know, we used to pray with natural things, you know, and sometime I'm there observing the nature, you know. So it's kind of uh, bring me that kind of meditation. Mm -hmm. you know, so oh, so you grew up in an environment where you could just meditate? Yeah, yeah. yeah That's nice. how I've brought you know, that kind of uh, until today. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you haven't talked to us about this. You want to talk about this? There's the word death inscribed. Mm -hmm. There's also just someone leaning down. Just yeah. talk to us about that as well. Well, uh, this painting, if you if you look at it, uh, most of them, mm -hmm. because it's one work, all mm -hmm. of them, it has uh, you know barbed wire. Mm -hmm. You see, now the barbed wire is like these figures are in in a city. Mm -hmm. You see, so it's like you know people are you know uh, there is a barrier in the city. Mm -hmm. So it's like. Uh, now that's a, an expression of uh, they say it's like a it's like a prison mm -hmm. where you are enclosed and you are not supposed to talk. Mm -hmm. yeah. so if freedom of expression. Yeah, there is something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to this one. What's the name of this one? And uh, it's 492. <laughs> yeah, 492. Is it the actual number of paintings you've done? How many just numbers in Yonatomia? Yeah, it's, it's, it's like I'm telling you, it's, uh, it's numbers of the painting. Okay. That I've done. done. So, number, the number you always stand for each painting. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, as you continue, we'll be able to notice that those yeah, are the pieces yeah, you've Yeah, because done. I, I, I find it hard uh, to give it a title. So, I put. Oh, so the, number. the number. Yeah, yeah. That's really Quite exciting. Different, yeah. But there is a different different technique you've used from this one. Mm -hmm. uh, probably talk to us. Is it mi mixed media technique? Mm -hmm. Have you what I what have you used to be able to come up with this? Well, okay. First of all, this is a canvas, mm -hmm. and uh, it has engaged me, you know, with a lot of you know process. 
because in it there is a lot of layers in it and again as it's built then it come you know uh, bringing materials and you know they so you keep on adding elements up until yeah. it's complete yeah 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 let's go to that next one and see right, yeah. this is 491 and yeah, yeah i'm excited about this one it's horrific <laughs> really <laughs> horrific uh, talk to us about it now um Ebuniambi, is that EPC in Angelia? Nini exactly? Well, these are the these are three figures. You know, study. You can see there is uh, two figures behind, okay. and one studying, you know, coming out. Okay, so it's one standing against another figure. It's like yeah. you and me. But yeah, and then this is the figure of a man and a woman. Uh, when I was creating it, I didn't think about, you know, man or a woman or sexes, you know. Mm -hmm. I just made figures, you know, just mm -hmm. like the other figures that I've done. Mm -hmm. So, it's like uh, this, these images are burning, you know, mm -hmm. in a fire. And they are trying to find strength, mm -hmm. you know, for each other. So, they are holding hands. Yeah, it's like trying to get... Uh, strength for each other mm -hmm. yeah so that's basic composition of two people holding hands as a symbol of strength mm -hmm. and yeah. then the, the third person is looking on this other side yeah what yeah. does that mean well if you look at these guys the two people are you know at the behind mm -hmm. and the other one is looking at the front mm -hmm. so it's like you are not knowing what these guys behind are doing mm -hmm. you see but again, it's like there are three in the circles, mm -hmm. so it's like finding strength, and and the fire is burning. So the fire is burning, so you yeah. need strength yeah, to, yeah. to stay together. Yeah. Um, let's go to this one uh -huh. and try look at it. Uh -huh. uh, but it's exciting to just see you do it. Um, talk to me about how you sell your pieces. Give you an example. This this work of art, how much would it go for? Mm, okay, it's prepared with the artist, you know. And yeah, uh, but yeah. this time we're talking about you, so yeah. <laughs> we want you as an artist to tell us how much you'd sell this piece for. Well, like, I think um, maybe 300, mm -hmm. like that, you know. 300,000? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd sell this for 300,000? Yeah, most likely. Mimi, I have a piece for 500,000. Mimi, I'm going to buy 500,000. Yeah. So, you're ready to Yeah. I get it. But do you get um, customers from Kenya? Like, do most of the people that buy your pieces, um, are they Kenyan? Yeah, you know, most people would come and they would get it, you know. It's fed with the interest of someone. Mm -hmm. Come on, say, I may feel like I'm going to take a work and I'm going to yeah Mm -hmm. But from BSS are the process of building this. And also you've used nails and metal. Mm -hmm. So just talk to us about maybe that as well. Mm, okay. Uh, so is in my boxes, the Kama City. It's like you know, it's like lacing the city. Ni ukiangalia mtaani sai kuna building zina lice. Okay, I want to tell like in the the list development mm -hmm. in the in the country LHC in Africa. Mm -hmm. Sasa lakini kuna vitu zingine zinaendelea. Yeah. Ukiangalia kama hiyo figure. So there's still interference in as much as we are having big cities coming up. Yeah, yeah. But unaona watu wanapitia yeah. shida so you wanted to capture it through yeah. this piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh nayo kitu kama hii mm -hmm. ina signify it's like it's a tower mm -hmm. but again it's like a locket, you know. Because work it's a universal work. Oh, yeah. if, if also you look into the whole world, mm -hmm. where things are happening, mm -hmm. so you can understand what yeah. I am So about. it's like a tower, but it's also a rocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you into science? Do you what? like science? Yeah, I do, I do. <laughs> nice. And this one, this element over here? Yeah. 
this is a, a look that signify the dead, you know, the, the dead, uh, the death of nature. Mm -hmm. I get. That's also one thing that you're into because when I was reading about you, mm -hmm. uh, you are tired of how people squand squander the money that's meant to protect the environment. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 But you're yeah. using a lot of wood, why not other elements? You see, uh, a wood, it's like if you find it somewhere there, it so signifies yeah, it signifies the death of a forest. So it's like So that's why yes. you so you don't cut down? Yeah, I don't cut you down. Find Niki Pata, Nightumia. Okay. Yeah. Dry bones is one of the things that's written here, Bab Dwyer also, mm -hmm. but it's an actual Bab Dwyer. Mm -hmm. Just talk to us about this composition in general. Uh, well, this is a. Uh, uh, it? it's, a it's a cityscape, mm -hmm. uh, and a picture a city. Mm -hmm. So, in city, you know, you can a lot of, you know, a lot of. Uh, disturb, disturbance. Kuna vitu zime die. Kuna, you know, na nature ime die. If you can see, there is no natural, uh, natural forest. Or so it's like oh, building in a city. Yep. I see well, the fourth street over here. Yeah. So it's actually a city. Yeah. And yeah. then a square. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. But uh, mm -hmm. if you are not an artist, what else do would you do? Uh, what else would you be doing? Uh, if I'm not an artist, mm -hmm. maybe, well, there is a lot of things na kuonga nikifanya, sa zingine. So, uh, na kuna vitu huwa na, na fikiria, maybe, nige kuwa, somehow, nige kuwa musician. You kuwa musician? Yeah. Tuimbi basi? Ah, <laughs> si, ni basi, ahi, sa babu, nisa kuwa. Oh, nisa kuwa artist. Yeah, nisa kuwa visual artist. But you're, you're into, are you, are you, do you love reggae music? Ah. It's an assumption. I'm only all kinds of music. <laughs> music. But you know, it's it's music is universal. So mm -hmm. we're not just the music here. Okay. But yeah. what's, your, what's like your favorite kind of music? Well, I think reggae is also something that I like. You know. It's also something you like. Yeah. Nice. Uh, let's talk about this one as we finish. But uh, mm -hmm. how do you use social media to promote your work? Yeah. Uh, I post uh, my works. Mm -hmm. And maybe you get someone cry and normally whenever I finish a work, mm -hmm. I post, post it, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, whoever wants to see it, you see it and will lead to me, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, the good thing is that you exhibit here but you live in Thika. Mm -hmm. uh, when a client maybe wants to meet you, do you also move? Uh, yeah, now when I move, like in a tactic. <laughs> Lili, lili, you know, but sababu ni kona studio pia thika. Nisi ya kitaka kuniona, ananipata thika pia kwa studio. And a social media tuna kupata ju? Unapata Ashanti Gidenji. Ashanti Gidenji. Ashanti Gidenji, you find me. There's a young man or a young person looking at you right now, and they want to be like you. What would you tell them to do so that they can be able to become a good artist? Well, work. You know, work and work and work. Mm -hmm. You know, and if uh, you don't find work, make work. If you don't find work, make work. Yeah. So if you're out there, we're going to make sure that you get to see some of the pieces because of time. We're going to make sure that you get to see some more pieces. And of course, just remind them one small social media. How do they find you? Ashanti Gidenji. And that's how you find Gidenji. But if you want to find me, find me at Brian underscore Aseli. Find us at KTN Home underscore. And of course, use the hashtag KTN Life and Style, hashtag Artistic Tuesday. Right now, we go on a short commercial break. But when we come back, we want to make sure that you're entertained. Have a good morning. Mm -hmm.